Uh, it's a windy day in January, but uh, what I wanted to do today is uh, share my uh, DJI Phantom 1 setup with you guys. Um, these are fairly cheap now uh, since the DJI, uh, the Phantom 3 Professional came out and made these a little more affordable. And if you've been flying the little ones for a while now, you know, your um, Cyma X5 and uh, you know, whatever, uh, Hubson and all that other stuff, and you've gotten good at it, you might want to, you know, upgrade now to a, um, to a Phantom. Uh, you know, these I think are now in the $300, $400 range, just depending on what you get. Now, uh, I got this other, this little gimbal uh, for it as well. Um, this little gimbal is a two-axis gimbal. It's not a three-axis gimbal, so it's not super great. It, this one, uh, this is a just Chinese made. It's, it, I think it was like $40 on the internet. It's not particularly anything expensive or uh, it's just something basic to have, be able to put um, a little GoPro on there or you can put a, you know, I, I use my uh, my camera, my the one I have on my head right now. I actually set it on there, but today I'm going to be uh, putting a GoPro on there uh, and checking that out. So we'll see how that works. They're not very hard to set up. You do have to do some tweaking. Um, open up the copter if you want to set up the the pitch on the on the. There is a way to set up a pitch if you want to adjust pitch. Uh, you do it with that button there on the transmitter, and you do have to open it up um, to uh, to set up that cable. But besides that, it's very straightforward. There's a little, they're all over the place. A little Chinese um, uh, gimbals. gimbals. Now here is the battery that the, the copter uses is the old DJI Phantom 1 battery and uh, I actually got um, this one does have uh, the the self tightening propellers so I'm gonna be using those so I'm just gonna do the basic uh, setup and then I'm gonna uh, uh, put the GoPro on it and then we're gonna take it up for a flight and see how it does so uh, with the propellers uh, these are like I said they're self tightening so I just Kinda, okay, so that's there. And you don't have to try to tighten them with a wrench or anything. These are, they just tighten up by themselves. There you go. There you go, okay. So that's, um, now I do want to point something out about this copter is that it weighs over 0.55 pounds. That means that you have to register it. In my case, I just uh, I registered it. it. Cost five dollars, but if you do it, I think before uh, mid January or something, or or before next month, they actually waive the fee. So they waived my fee, and um, and then you just have to put the the number of the that they give you on any quadcopter of yours that weighs over 0.55 pounds. So I have. I have it on this one. I have it on my unique. Uh, I have it on the. I got the Air Dancer, um, the XK, the XK uh, 350, and that one. Uh, I have one on there too. All right. So uh, got that set up. Now I'm gonna put the camera on there. Okay. So uh, here's a GoPro. This is my brother-in-law's GoPro. His Hero 3 Plus. And um, so we're gonna we're gonna set it up on the on the. On the gimbal now the gimbal has this little strap that it comes with and what you do is you just set it up like that you this goes this goes in um, okay we're just gonna show real quick the the right here uh, the little lever on the back of the transmitter if you move it all the way to, to towards the, the battery towards the battery which is right is gonna pitch the camera which up. way up so it's all the way up right now and if you move it towards away from the batteries uh, it's gonna pitch it down so you can see there how that works so Which, it's a cool feature that it has you can you can use and one thing you could do is um, when the go when the copter is really high up in the air you might not know where it's pitched so you could make a mark on here where if you make a mark that means it's pitched straight down that way if you want to get straight down footage you can make a little mark with a sharpie or something if you want to have it um, you know pretty much straight with the phantom you could make a little mark on there like that that way you have like a little guide um, kind of like a clock to to know what your camera is looking at while it's up in the air and you can't actually see the camera All right. so um, we got it on there tight uh, it's not going anywhere um, now I want to point out that I have also used the Xiaomi Yi on this same 
um, on the same gimbal, and uh, you just use you can get a, like a Velcro and other and, and t wrap it around, and it holds it on tight too, and it works well also. All right, so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put the battery in uh, in the copter. So take one of these batteries here. These batteries are 2200 milliamp hour batteries. They're 11.1 volts. Uh, and with this copter, um, what you want to make sure you do is you turn the remote on first. Before you um, t turn on the quadcopter, you always want to turn the remote on first. So there it is. The red light shows that it's on. And then you can power uh, the, the quadcopter. Now it has. I'm going to stick the battery in there and I'm going to power the quadcopter and then this little, this other um, cable here powers the, the gimbal. So now both things got power. I'm going to tuck my cables up in there. Let me see. Alright, so and then you don't want to move. Um, Okay, so it's pitched. It's pitched up, so I'm gonna... There we go. Good deal. Pitch it down. Alright, so while the quadcopter's doing its thing, you really don't want to move it. If you start moving it around, you are likely to have problems. Um, so you just always want to try to keep it... Once you set it down to do its thing. Um, now, I have mine set up to GPS, and... Um, I'm gonna wait till uh, it's acquired more uh, more satellites. When it starts blinking, just green and green. Right now, it's blinking one one green and two red. I really want to see more green than anything. Is, is the gist of the thing. There we go. So now we got some green blinking, and we got green. Um, and we got ready. So, all right, go ahead, start the video on there. So now we've started the video on the GoPro, and we're gonna start our copter, ready to go. So let's do this thing. So um, another thing you want to keep in mind when you are um, when you're flying these Phantoms is that there's no way to keep uh, time. Like if you have your Phantom away from you. Let me see if I can pitch the camera down. If you have the phantom, <coughs> the phantom away from you, pitch it down. See, it's kind of tricky. There we go. down and see uh, and now the wind is high so we might have a little more I don't know I, I can't tell if it's pitched back or down um, you know it's strong winds today so uh, I don't know exactly how good the video quality is gonna be okay so I'm, I'm gonna I want to bring her down. You can just pitch it and go straight up. Forward now. It's kind of forward. So that's slightly for uh, slightly down. Um, other way. So that's all the way down with the with Pretty the pitch. I'll walk out here. So I'm gonna follow my brother-in-law, see if uh, we can get him. Can't see it very well. It's against. The, hey, run towards me, cause 
Run, run the other direction. Yeah, cause the sun. Yeah, there you go. No, I was saying I'm flying against the sun and I can't see. Yeah, they, yeah, you kind of keep the sun behind you. All right, so now let's set it up a little bit. It's kind of the 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 pitch control can be a little bit tricky. All right, so now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna give it to my brother-in-law Matt. Let him fly it around, and I'm just gonna um, just kind of show what he's doing. So the the good thing about this quadcopter here is it does have GPS. So I have it set oh, to GPS. The um, pitch on the on the isn't behind. It's on the back. So um, so you know you can you can set up the camera with it, and you can. Um, nice thing about these quads is you can adjust the the pitch angle. So you can actually get very quick with these with these phantoms, uh, which can be dangerous, but it can also be really good if you want to get some fast video. Um, it, it's they're nice nice flyers and you can also uh, set these these quads to manual mode uh, the phantoms can be set to manual mode and uh, that I don't advise unless you are really an expert because it's it you have all the weight of the quadcopter on your hands and it is tough it's not easy to fly them and uh, so uh, all right let's get prepared let's prepare um, you mind doing a catch bring it down and catching it here let me see so um, I'm gonna show now my brother oh it's uh, the battery's running out Matt so you gotta come down all right so the light in the back is blinking it means the uh, battery's running out he's gonna catch it don't 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 land it just catch it so he's gonna catch it so that right there is a copter catch you just hold the throttle down and it comes up I just want to show um, right here that that light blinking like that that means it's running out of battery um, so it, we flew probably what five minutes um, if that and the reason why it ran out of battery so quick is because it has the weight of the gimbal and the camera so whenever you fly with extra weight you always want to be mindful of that because um, you know the worst thing is to have a battery run out of battery and it's gone and, and it could hurt somebody so um, hey guys one more thing here with the with the DJI the Phantom you always when you, you when you shut it down you always want to shut the quadcopter off first if you shut off the 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 remote first and then the quadcopter you're likely to get in trouble because the thing can fly away or do or just start spinning crazy or doing weird things so uh, they always advise shut the copter off first and then the transmitter when you are turning it on turn the transmitter on first and then the copter so, uh, you know you guys let me know what you think this is a good introductory uh, quadcopter if you uh, already mastered you know with the smaller uh, brushed motor quadcopter this this is kind of a cool one to have uh, for video um, get video of your family you know uh, whatever just do uh, some videography so anyways guys thank you for watching this and uh, I will see you later bye bye